hi welcome so let's uh, learn about adding the front-end form validation okay with JavaScript actually we'll be using uh, the JavaScript library called parsley.js okay so uh, let's start by installing that okay this is parsley.js uh, so here uh, if you go to getting started so let's uh, install this okay so here available here you can just download this what I will do is I will just save link ads and I will save it inside my project folder so here inside okay e-commerce so we'll go to public folder and inside JS uh, we'll save this parsley.min.js okay so let's go back so also uh, we'll need this CSS file okay so let's save it as so inside same public CSS so here parsley.css okay now after uh, we download it and uh, put that in our project folder let's so you can see here inside CSS and JS we added these two and now let's add uh, this to our this form product add product okay so let's go to that form so just search for products and create so inside product create okay so you can find over here so inside our form what we have to do is just uh, put a new option called data parsley validate okay so set it to just blank okay like this so uh, so if you have normal form just add this okay into your attribute okay so for example uh, inside form some action and you can add it here okay so like data parsley validate so uh, you can find it inside examples here okay so here is a demo form so you can uh, find this here okay so what you need to do all right so let's switch back to our laravel project so here after adding that we have initialized parsley and now so uh, so uh, for the field which are required you just need to add a new entry inside array okay so here just add required okay and set it to um, blank like so now if you go to uh, your that this projects uh, let's refresh it so this view is coming from this admin layout admin so we need to specify those two file there okay so let's go to admin layout and here so let's include those two files okay so here that is inside uh, CSS so the name of CSS is parsley.css I guess yeah parsley.css so similarly we need to add script as well so after jQuery make sure jQuery is included and you need to just add so JS and parsley.min.js okay so now let's refresh the page and let's check if uh, those two are loading correctly so we got no error in console that means it's loading also you can check it here parsley js is loading and css as well okay so uh, now let's uh, do create okay you can see here the value is required okay so now parsley is working um, next what we will do is uh, so here you can see what you can do with uh, these okay also uh, if you go to the documentation page and 
let me scroll all the way down to uh, built-in validators okay so built-in validators so uh, the uh, validation available to you are required okay so yeah also email okay so you can use either of them similarly number so you can do a lot of things here so okay let's try adding this uh, minimum length uh, validation okay so yes let's go to so for example we want this uh, text field name field to be minimum length of like okay min so let's uh, make it like five for uh, this okay there is typo okay let's go to admin area uh, refresh the page and yeah so yeah so value is too so uh, short it should have five characters or more so that's working okay okay currently we are validating it on our backend as well okay so you just don't have to rely on that front-end validation you, you can do both of them okay so uh, currently name is required and when it fails it will automatically send errors okay so currently uh, for example if for example yeah so these are required if we create and it will uh, if we do uh, sorry yeah if we do create it will re uh, redirect us back but it is not giving us any messages at the moment so that is because uh, so if you go to uh, admin layout and admin which is the main layout file so you can see here messages but uh, this is for old version okay so what you can do for newer version of laravel is so instead of message what it is passing is errors okay okay so uh, in order to show errors what we need to do in front end is mm, yeah so if you go to documentation here you'll find at uh, this link uh, like this okay this code I'll just copy it from here and just paste it down below so what this is doing is so uh, after validation fails we uh, laravel automatically passes this error variable okay so if error variable got so this is generally array got greater than zero okay so if there is something some error so we'll loop through each error and show them okay so now if you go back to product adding page and you say create so it should give us error okay so like price field is required okay so like that okay so this is how you uh, do validation okay so see you in the next video bye